interesting. Um, so, 92, he's told us about MPP's involvement in the elections, 92, I think it was the 1st of December or something like that. And then, at the time, um, presidential elections was not on the same ballot uh, um, and the same day as parliamentary. They would have them one week apart. And so, once the presidential elections were held, they knew that they were chopping last, but they also believed that it was fraudulent. And um, they took a decision, which he's telling us about. So, how was yeah, the nature yes, of your uh, decision? So, I mean, the, some group, the Adubuan group especially, said we should boycott the elections. Some of us also believe that we should go in for the, uh, parliamentary. the parliamentary election because we had the support and we knew we could win. But maybe they said, not under the second one, where the ballot box was solid wood and everything, uh, where they, were, had the, they have the machinery for manipulating the thing. So at the end of the day, a uh, majority decided that we should boycott the parliamentary elections and then try and do an analysis of what happens. And it was given, done under the chairmanship of Nana Kufuado. So then we wrote the, as you said, the rolling, stolen verdict. The stolen verdict, yes. And then that's why that is also history. So that was what it was at that time. So the stolen verdict would, um, would kind of justify why you believe that um, the elections were fraudulent. Is that correct? Yes, it did. And it tried to show that uh, the verdict of the people had been stolen, so yeah. to speak, mm -hmm. and that taken by Rawlings and his team. Of course, so they went to parliament, there was no opposition, and there was yeah. only Hawa Yakubu who was okay. independent. Yeah. He still that's yeah. independent. So tell me, 30 years down the line, do you still believe that the elections 92 was stolen? I'm even more convinced. <laughs> it was stolen. No two ways, Sam. But at the stolen. time, you guys were not going to it, certain it was places stolen. to campaign. You were just seeing that, that, the urban areas. And that, it was stolen. That is why we wrote the stolen verdict, and it's mm -hmm. all documented there. But um, at the end of the day, the, what I thought was a mistake was the fact that we should have competed mm -hmm. for the parliamentary. There would have been more election. stealing then. And I think we would we would have gotten a decent number. Okay. Because the following year when we came, as a first shot, we got sixty-one. Yeah. You know when we came, and I think we could. That was ninety-six, right? That uh, uh, at the end of the mm -hmm. day, we had to. And the majority said, you know, we were very democratic in everything that we did. And uh, the other place, other people, we had already paid everything and registered and everything. We were going to vote. And so that was the story of the stolen verdict. And from there on, we decided to struggle for a reform of the electoral processes mm -hmm. in what have you. So we started with an, uh, transparent boxes, ballot boxes yeah. mm -hmm. and eventually... We had to get some um, hand thumb print, and yeah. then we got one of pictures, black and white. And it, these are evolving yeah. over, over time, time. Yeah. and that's what it is. At that time, uh, it was important. Otherwise, and we stood our ground, and I think we were supported by a lot of the Western countries mm -hmm. that if we have gone democratic, it should also be genuine and that we shouldn't allow uh, this thing to take place. And so, that's why Hackman, tell me, so 